is it possible that all the things in the universe, including our solar system, Earth, and living, non-living things are all inside the brain of some other living being where we all live? Well, that's interesting. There's this uh, theory. It's a, it's a philosophical theory. It's called uh, cosmopsychism, which says that the universe is essentially conscious in itself, which would indicate it's a brain of some kind. And it's interesting that if you look at the large scale structure of the universe, at the largest scales, the filamentary structure of the universe, where you have filaments of uh, which are made up of galaxy superclusters, and these filaments connect the various uh, regions of the universe together. If you look at the filamentary structure of the universe at the largest scales, it is almost exactly the same as the neural structure of our brain. Yeah, so. So that is something that is very striking and it's something many people have noticed and commented about. But the thing is that in our brain, uh, signals travel at the speed of, nearly at the speed of light, the neural signals, are not quite at the speed of light, but these are electrical signals that, that uh, are uh, transmitted between neurons and clusters via electrochemical processes using various ions and all that. So these are biochemical processes that uh, transmit uh, what we interpret as our thoughts and various signals inside the brain. So in the universe, if the universe were a brain and it were if it were actually transmitting thoughts to various different regions, then that transmission process is limited by the speed of light. So it would typically take several million years from a signal to be transmitted from one location in this filament to another to a different location in the filament because that's how large these filaments are so that is one of the big uh, limitations in this theory that if it was a thinking brain then the thought process would be incredibly slow maybe the thought process was would be on the order of the uh, of the age of the universe or thereabouts because the universe is so vast. Maybe it's a very slow thinking brain or maybe there is something that circumvents this limit or, and, and bypasses this, this limit. Maybe there are actually wormholes in the universe that we don't know about and maybe these wormholes, if maybe if they are made of cosmic strings, possibly, perhaps, then maybe these wormholes are able to transmit thoughts faster than the, than the speed of light and transmit signals faster than the speed of light. So this, this is all hypothetical, it's all theoretical, but, but the large scale structure of the universe does very closely resemble the neural structure of the brain. So it's an interesting thought. Uh, there is no evidence of this. Yeah, it is. A, is it possible? Yeah, possible. But it's not a scientific theory because we don't have observational evidence of any signals being, being transmitted, right? So it's a, it's a theory which belongs in the realm of philosophy, not science. Philosophy is something that's larger than science. Science is a small subset of philosophy. So this is a philosophical theory. Until we find any evidence of this, it is going to remain a philosophical theory. If we do actually find some evidence, then we can bring it into the realm of science and do some actual experimental uh, testing or, or try and find some data, some actual hard data about it. So is it possible? Maybe it's possible. It does, uh, the structure of the universe does resemble the structure, the internal structure of the human brain. So it's uh, it's very tantalizing. It's a good question. It's something even I've thought about in the past. But as I said, we don't have uh, sufficient or, uh, or any credible data that supports this, this claim as of today.